Hello everyone. In this presentation, we will see various functions that will be used in rules. Here is the list of most commonly used functions. There are few other functions you can refer Hyperion Administration Guide when there is a need. First one is account type. Just dot you have to mention dimension name. Account type obviously belongs to account dimension. Hs dot account dot account type and you can mention the account name or you can leave it empty then it will work on the current account member. If you remember there are several account types revenue, asset, liability, equity, expenses like that. Is base. You know the base members means the lowest child members. Let me show you in Hyperion Financial Management. If I want to bring base level members under profit and loss, then MI will be one of the base members. And if you expand, these are all not base members. Base members are lowest members in the hierarchy. If I say child members of profit and loss, what are all the members will come? Profit and loss before MI and MI. These are the two child members of profit and loss. So now if you want to bring the list of base members, use this function. And if you want to bring child members, you can use is child. If a particular member is child, if MI is a child of profit and loss, yes, it is a child of profit and loss, then this function returns true statement. Is consolidated. Do you, if, if you remember, every account has this property whether it is selected or not. So if you use the function is consolidated, then it will bring true if that option is selected. Is calculated. If you see here, is calculated is empty for this particular example. That means if I use the function is calculated if hs dot account dot is calculated in brackets mi in parenthesis mi then that function will return false statement is icp if you remember we have selected icp flag for entity and icp flag for accounts so that means this can be used with account dimension and entity dimension if account is intercompany partner account, then it will bring true statement. Same thing, we can use this for entity dimension also. Num base, number of base level members under a hierarchy or under a parent. Number of child members under a parent. Plug account. This plug account returns the plug account value. Let me explain with an example. In this example, 490100 is intercompany revenue account. And plug account is sales underscore plug. If I use this function, hs dot account dot plug account of four nine zero one hundred, then it brings sales underscore plug account. UD one hs dot account dot UD one of a particular account or current account like that UD two UD three. That is nothing but user defined account. If you say an account is historic account ud1 is historic in that case ud1 hs dot account dot ud1 of that particular account is equal to historic and we can also use hs dot entity dot default currency if you remember default currency is associated with entity hierarchy that's why we can use this function only with entity hierarchy so this column represents for which dimensions this function can be used is first we can use this with a period or year member in a hierarchy is the year is first or is the period is first hs dot period dot is first hs dot year dot is first it brings the first member in the hierarchy is last it brings the last member of the hierarchy so january is the first member in the hierarchy for period dimension member this dimension can be used with wide variety of dimensions entity period scenario year value view hs dot entity dot member like this you can use in a function 
So you can open administration guide and refer rules files as shown here. And let's check the member function, how the explanation is. Gets the name of the current member. This function can be used in any calculations, translation, consolidations. And you can use hs dot if hs dot entity dot member equal to California, then do this. Like this, you can use this with entity, period, scenario, value, year, and view dimensions. We will see few other functions in the screen. hs dot clear clears data in a specified combination. This can be used in calculate, translate and consolidate routines. For example, hs.clear a hash all. It clears all accounts data for a particular entity, period, scenario, value, view, year members for which the rule is running for. And if you want to mention a particular account hs.clear a hash sales dot c1 hash this is custom dimension for this combination only data gets cleared hs.con is used in consolidation for consolidate operation hs.open data unit returns the data unit item to process during the consolidation calculation and translation this function hs.pcon is used to get percent consolidation. hs.pon is to get the percentage ownership. hs.getCell gets the data contained in a cell. So in this example, dim d data is a variable. You can use any variable name. And that variable you are getting hs.getCell a hash sales from intercompany none member and from C1 dimension and C2 combination, C3 and C4. From this point of view, it gets the data and keeps the data in D data variable. HS dot expression is most commonly used statement in calculate and translate routines. It puts data in combination of account, ICP and custom 1 to 4 members. On the left hand side of the equation, we can only mention lowest level of members, base level members. On the right hand side, you can keep either top level or lowest level of the members. hs.trans, it translates a currency using year to date method. This is used only in translate routine. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in next sessions.